just more proof that voting or participating in a democracy is a complete waste of time. As you're probably aware, this whole debacle, this whole spectacle of lobbyists or special donors, I mean, I mean, forget about the rhetoric they use. Basically, grease palm, palm greasing, right? Palm greasing. We're just like in the mafioso days, the mob days. Yeah, you have to grease the palms. If you if you're asking a favor from from a mod boss or you want your business or, you know, whatever to have special privilege or advantage over everyone else, yeah, you had to cozy up to the mob bosses, right? Well, in the political in the political sphere, in the religion of statism, the mob bosses are the politicians. Cuz obviously the politicians are the ones that write the rules. Right? So, I mean, I've known this forever, but finally, this kind of stuff is starting to see a little bit of light of day, starting to be reported on. Although, like, as per usual, they they just use kid gloves and, and, and gentle strokes, right, to cover this stuff so that they don't want you to get outraged or upset about that fact because most of the people that are reporting this stuff, it's like, they're stuck. It's like a conundrum for them it's because... A lot of them live off of this central planning entity, this mystical concept of having central planners who can steal and plunder the masses at any time at any whim just by writing it on a parchment or a piece of paper or, or calling it legislation, right? But basically, yeah. I mean, all these, when you, you know, when the liberals, and of course it's predominantly the liberals, but of course, yes, the conservatives, all all political hacks do this stuff, right? But yeah, when they put on these fundraising dinners and it costs, think about it. If, if it costs you, if you're going to go meet with politicians or those in positions of power or influence, if it costs you $10,000 to be a participant in that luncheon or that gathering or that meeting or fundraising whatever bullshit term they use is yeah i mean what kind of a first of all if these people are business owners corporatists predominantly but if they're owners of a business of any sense what do you think they're just going to throw that money i mean no no common sense businessman would just throw money away for the sake of of throwing it away. You're not going to see too many sensible businessmen taking thousand dollar bills and burning them just for the sake of entertainment, right? Unless they're just morons or or haven't really worked hard or been productive to accumulate that wealth. Then I suppose they don't really give a shit. But anyone that has worked hard to create productive wealth and has gained any success... Well, first of all, the moral ones amongst them wouldn't want anything to do with this. So you're not going to see any of those people at these dinners. But the ones that are willing to sell their soul or their morals or the principles out to gain and benefit from central planners. Yeah, if they're willing to spend 10, 20, whatever many thousands of dollars they're willing to spend to sit down and have meetings or dinners with these politicians, you know damn well. I mean, they can spin that shit however way they want. But the only reason why that happens is because it's a shakedown. And if you're not part of the shakedown, like, well, that's the thing. There's no natural competitive environment other than, other than that which function inside the status paradigm. So in the status paradigm, to be competitive means you have to be even more vile, disgusting, evil, and immoral than the next guy if you want to beat them. In the natural environment, in the a free market environment, it's the opposite. You have to create a product or a service that's so appealing to the masses that they'll purchase from you or use your service and reject everyone else because they're not providing that service or that product in quite the manner that you have. 
But in the status paradigm, <laughs> like it's always the race to the bottom, right? It's like, well, shit. If we got all these other crony fucking capitalists that keep lobbying the government to gain benefit from the central planners so they can write the laws and rules in, in, in their favor, well, the only thing we have left if we want to be successful is to stoop to that level. That's why things are so bad. That's how things are so terrible today is because it's a race to the bottom. Central planning, forced subjugation, and collectivism, crony capitalism is always a race to the bottom. And the only people that benefit in that race to the bottom are those that are standing on the top of everyone else during that race. The ones that can still hold their heads above water, which the only way that happens in a stage paradigm is if they've sold their self, self out. You know, they were much higher bidders in that paradigm. They held out the longest. Their political masters chose them because they greased the wheel, right? Think about how vile and disgusting that is. Which means if you're a, a common sense individual who wants to create a business or help others, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to, you know, generate wealth or income for yourself, but at the same time help others and raise all boats, well, in this current status paradigm, there's no point in you even showing up to the party at this stage, right? There's no point in you showing up. Nobody's going to pay attention to you. If you're willing to, to pander to the political classes, to the ruling elite, pay them off, yeah, you may gain some benefit. But is that proper? Is that moral? Is it ethical? No, of course it's not. But that is the reality that we function in. That is the reality of having central planning entities, mystical concepts for subjugation and collectivism as the premise, as the basis for any economic activity. It's always a race to the bottom. Free market, true capitalism, competitiveness, competition. That's what raises and elevates all of us. Intellectually, economically, and socially. That's the way it should be. That's the way I want it to be. It's Canadian Libertarian. And I love liberty.